So uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about outfitting a pocket gun to be just a little bit more versatile as far as self-defense is concerned. Uh, pocket guns, they're carried a lot, and it seems like a lot of, um, from what I've seen on YouTube and on the internet, and please correct me if I'm wrong, but it seems like not a lot of the big name self-defense instructors out there address pocket guns that much. I'm not sure why, because it's a very big market of the self-defense world, and a lot of people will carry these pocket guns. I do. This is a Ruger LCP that I have set up to my liking, and I will carry this as a primary, and do, I do not feel undergunned at all with this. So in any case, uh, some things that I think are good things to consider when outfitting a pocket gun and setting it up to be as versatile as possible in a self-defense role. Uh, number one, the ammunition. You always want to pick good self-defense ammunition for your pocket gun. That's where some people tend to go wrong if they're not doing their research. So do your research. Use YouTube. Use Google. Go talk to people in the local area. Do uh, Pay your dues and really look at what type of ammunition works best for your particular gun. For my particular setup, Ruger LCP and 380, I'm using the 90 grain Federal Hydroshocks. Standard pressure. And I think it's the best of both worlds when it comes to expansion and penetration. I could go with the full metal jackets. And a lot of people say just go with the full metal jackets. And that is true. If you go with the full metal jacket, you don't have to worry about penetration. But the problem is you're going to get tons of penetration, but no energy transfer. It's no different than when you're talking about full metal jackets for 9 millimeters, 40s, 45, and so forth. So... No matter what caliber you decide to choose, really look at what the capabilities of that caliber is and do your best to pick the best match for your gun. Now, magazine capacity. That's another thing that uh, pocket guns tend to have an issue with. This Ruger LCP comes standard with six round magazines. I went ahead and put a extended base plate on it. Now it holds seven rounds per magazines. When I do the plus one, I have an eight round capacity initially for my Ruger LCP. That's pretty good. That's not bad at all for a small pocket single stack 380. Uh, are there better variants out there? There certainly are, but for this particular setup, uh, it works really well. Plus, it gives me a little bit more control over the gun because I still only have a two finger grip, but it's a very positive two finger grip and you have this little lip at the end. It actually does uh, pay off as far as controllability goes when shooting this gun. Uh, Pocket pistols are typically really small, and when you combine the small size, the real lightweight, plus the uh, energy from firing around, you tend to get a gun that could be a little bit hard to control and might move around in your hand. So what you want to look at is, is there something you could do to modify the grip? This is a Hogue Hybrid that's specifically made for the LCP, and I went along and... Um, did some research and went with this, and I'm glad I did. It really made a 100% difference. Uh, the LCP is pretty decently controllable in the first place, but now it is an extremely controllable gun, and it's easy to shoot. I wouldn't mind taking this to the range and putting 200 rounds through it in a range day. So uh, that's something you want to consider. Look at the grips out there that are available for your particular choice. Of pocket gun and just kind of do some research and see what you can come up with because there's a real big aftermarket out there and a lot of people don't think about customizing their pocket gun to fit them a little bit better uh, another thing I added to this and it was available and it fit it fit the lines really well on this gun as I added a light this is a Viridian light and these accessories I'll do a uh, separate reviews on them in future uh, future videos but I'm kind of talking about just as a whole right now, the system that I got. But this is a Viridian, and basically this comes in two modes. You have the full-on and then the strobe. Here, I'll show the full-on right there. Very well made, and uh, just like in anything else, when we're talking about firearms, it's very, very important to identify your threat. Now, with this particular setup, the reason I like this setup with this uh, Ruger is because of the holster that comes with it. This Viridian holster, this holster that is made specifically for the Viridian equipped Ruger, 
has a little uh, insert right here that I can turn this light on, insert it in the holster and it turns off. What that means is as soon as I pull the gun out, it activates the light automatically. So I don't have to worry about fumbling with this button close to the muzzle. So that's a great little plus for me. And this really gives this a little bit more versatility when we're talking low light self-defense encounters. Um, these combined upgrades made this Ruger LCP more controllable, gave me a little bit more ammo capacity, which is great. And it gives me an ability to positively identify my target to determine whether it is in fact a threat or not. And at the same time, when you're shining this light, it also makes these small Ruger sights that are on the top of this stand out even more. So that's an additional plus. So all in all, the things that I did really enhance the capability of this little gun. So it turns it from just a simple little pocket gun into more of a primary self-defense gun. So that's just some of the things that I encourage you to look at if you, de if you uh, decide to carry these little pocket guns. Just look at things that will actually make a difference. Do your research, avoid all the tactical items. Uh, some people can say this is a tactical gun and you know, maybe they're right, but I think if you had somebody handle a regular LCP and shot it and ran it through a few scenarios and then picked this up and did the same thing, this would come out on top. So in any case, um, I'm getting a little long-winded in this video, so tell me what your thoughts are, but don't hesitate to carry a pocket gun. A lot of people hesitate to carry a pocket gun because they're they're scared. They think they're underarmed. They think, uh, you know, their friends are going to laugh at them. But I'll tell you what, it's better to carry a pocket gun every day than a 45, uh, just some of the time. So with that said, thanks a lot for watching and as always, keep it safe.